Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with the Jacobs. Listen, um, today in my continued coronavirus <laughs> episodes, um, I'm going to do my baked mac and cheese, okay? So in here, hopefully you guys can see that, I just have like about a cup or so of regular whole milk as well as another cup or so of regular whipping cream. Um, if you heavy whipping cream, sorry. If you guys don't have that, um, you can use straight whole milk. I mean, you know, you you don't have to get fancy with the whipping cream. It's not that big of a deal. And then my fire, which is the most important thing, is gonna be on a between a low to uh, medium. Um, and that's very important, more so to the low because you don't want this to boil. What you're trying to do is you're gonna just melt some cheese. All right, and this is just the base of my um, mac and cheese, all right? So again, um, if you, if you had straight milk, you can definitely use straight milk. Um, just use whatever you have, but in my case, it's one part heavy whipping cream, one part straight milk, okay? So now in here, since you see the little, um, steam coming off of it, I'm just gonna drop, Oh, sorry, don't, don't drop it like that to make it splash all over the place, but lightly place you, um, this is about two ounces of Velveeta cheese. Now, I know some people, y'all don't, y'all may not like Velveeta cheese or whatever the case may be, but I love Velveeta cheese because of the consistency of it. It makes my stuff very creamy, but, you know, it's up to you. It's up to you. If you want to skip this part and just do the rest of the stuff that I'm doing, you absolutely can do that. It will still turn out wonderful. Okay, it just won't have that extra creaminess that this Velveeta shells and cheese is going to have. All right. So now, it's very important that you just take your time and you keep on stirring this. All right, so this is going to take a while. All right, I'm not going to stay on camera the whole time that I'm doing it, but you don't want to leave and walk away and come back five minutes later because baby, it will burn. So you just want to kind of take something and you just want to kind of roll it around in there and just make sure that your fire, like I said, is on a low. This, this process is going to take a little while. So, you know, if you want to make homemade mac and cheese, baby, this is it's a process. If not, then you need to get you a Velveeta shells and cheese box and you need to call it a day. <laughs> okay? But if not, if you want to do some, you know, homemade mac and cheese, then it's going to take a little work. All right? And this part is the melting of the cheese. All right? So this is what I do. All right? So now we're going to keep it. Just keep stirring it around. And then I'm going to be back when it gets, you know, gets a little closer to it so y'all can see. Right now it has those big old chunks, but you can see they melting. All right? And that's what you want to do. You want to melt it so let's just keep stirring that around and i'll be back all right y'all i'm back now this has pretty much got all of the the um clumps out of that Velveeta cheese and as you can see it looks super duper creamy and silky right okay so you know that's just that's just a little trick and that's going to keep you um keep your stuff on now at this point what i want to do too is i want to add a little seasoning to it um because remember you you do need to season it um so i'm gonna put a little bit of tony saturi in it like about a teaspoon of tony saturi and then put a little that's um all that is is uh seasoned salt that's all it is um, and put that in there. And then also, I like garlic, of course. So I'm going to put some garlic powder in it. Put like a you know, little bit of garlic powder in there. And then lastly, I'm going to put a little bit of pepper in there. In there. Perfect. Okay. And then I'm going to mix this up. And that's just so your cheese sauce does have some um, flavor in it. You know, I didn't put anything on the noodles. I literally just, just boiled them as per the um, the thing said. I didn't put any type of seasoning in. I did put some um, salt in my water when I was boiling the noodles. But as far as the seasoning, nothing. Okay? So that's important. The, the trick to this, though, is just to keep your fire on that low. I mean, if you put on low, maybe the next notch to low is what you need. The next not shallow. Okay, now next I have, I have one whole um, thing of Monterey Jack cheese with jalapeno from the H-E-B's. Y'all know I love H-E-B's. And shout out to H-E-B right now, baby, for doing this coronavirus, baby, for having every single thing that you need. Now, you may go have to go early or whatever the case may be, but baby, they have it. 
Okay, you just be patient with them. They have it. All right. Now, and I got one whole block of, uh, which is eight ounces of Gouda cheese. But you can feel free to use any kind of cheese you want, guys. This is whatever you want. When people say four, five, seven, eight cheese pot, uh, macaroni, that's just what it means. The different kind of cheeses that they decided to add to it. All right. And what you want is to get you some cheese that you like. Okay. And those just happen to be the cheeses that I like. Right now, people say, "Well, why did you buy that block of cheese like that?" Because I shredded it myself. Um, and, and yes, I do. Those who know me know that I do shred my own cheese, and and it's just force of habit. Do you have to do that? No, you don't. Okay, but I do it because if you notice on that shredded cheese, they put something in there, in that cheese. Um, to keep it from separating, I mean, to keep it separated like that. So whatever that chemical is um, that's in there, you know, I don't, I'd rather not have to have that if I don't have to. I mean, they're already putting so much extra stuff in our food already, you know, and so as, as organic as possible as I can go or the real thing as I can go without any extras in there is, is kind of how I try to roll, okay? But yeah, um, I'm just going to put one, I put one handful of that in there and kind of stir it in there. I didn't dump the whole thing in there at once. I just kind of move it around in there and then kind of move it so that, you know, it, it doesn't, um, it doesn't stick. Okay. And then in my, I got a big old pan over there on the side because that's what I'm going to bake it in. A big old Pyrex uh, rectangular pan. And so I just have it on the side ready. My noodles are already cooked and they drained. They're sitting up in my sink right now in the um, little strainer. And they're just waiting. <laughs> just waiting on mama to grab them. All right, this is the rest of that Gouda cheese. Stir that in. Again, the trick to this is having a low fire and taking your time. Um, this cheese sauce, you know, does take a little while. It takes about 30 minutes or so. Um, to have it made, so you, you definitely want to, uh, you know, take a time with it. See, that Gouda cheese just, you know, look at, it's still in there, but it, it's, it's just very creamy. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It has a little bit of chunks, little bit of pieces left in there. That's okay. Just make sure you keep on stirring it so it doesn't burn. But in the meantime, I'm taking another handful of this Monterey, Monterey Jack cheese with uh, jalapenos in it. And that's going to be a little bite. You know, uh, the Jacobs like a little... We like a little uh, spice in our life. <laughs> yeah. And normally I would have got like the Velveeta cheese that has this... Uh, like a like a jalapeno Velveeta or something like that or a Mexican blend Velveeta. Oh, it's so good. I normally would have used that too. But uh like I said, it's the coronavirus. So you gotta grab what you can get, girl. They didn't have that kind um at the H E B's when I went, so I just had to get the regular kind. I don't have time to be dropping bowls and dropping nobody for no <laughs> Velveeta cheese, y'all. So we're gonna just get the regular Velveeta cheese and it's all good. Okay, she's gonna just stir that in. Step, I'm just gonna grab the next handful. Again, melting it. I love that cheese from from um, HBs, you guys, because I mean, it had you have the big old chunks of the uh, jalapeno in there. Somebody tell HB to endorse me. <laughs> I'm kidding, but I'm not kidding. Um, but I, I love H-E-B. I'm not, no, H-E-B is not paying me to say that. <laughs> I do. I just love H-E-B. And the fact that they've been down for us for this coronavirus and basically been making sure that they have been keeping their shelves stocked, like, that, that gives nothing but love for me, for them. So, at this point, I'm on the H-E-B train, okay? back y'all when it's ready all right guys we are back um this cheese sauce is pretty much ready um 
it starts getting thick. So you want to make sure that it's, you know, it got all the clumps on it. It's okay if you have a little bitty clumps in there. We'll, we are going to bake it in the oven so it will have time to uh, do what you want it to do. Just, um, you know, make sure that it's no strings, no, nothing big or whatever the case may be. Just make sure you can pour it in there. Alright. Okay, y'all. Now I'm back. Okay. So I switched over here. And um, like I said, it's just my noodles. That's all it is, literally. Just noodles. Um, I cooked them just like the package said. And the only thing that I put in those noodles was just a little bit of butter. Okay? And that's just um uh, just because I like butter. <laughs> Alright, and if you'll see in here, you'll see that I did mix some um medium size uh, macaroni noodles or, or uh, shell noodles with some bow tie noodles and that's just because I had some bow tie noodles left that's all I mean you know I'm gonna use what I have here baby it's all good it's all gonna be good all right so just make sure that's not sticking together and of course the um, butter does help with your noodles so it won't your noodles shouldn't be sticking together or you can put a little olive oil olive oil helps to help your noodle not stick together but anyway so you just get it down there like you want it like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna come over here to my cheese sauce. I'm gonna just pour it on here right now. Okay, I didn't pour the whole thing, but I'm kind of moving around in here. Make sure all your noodles are covered. About to show y'all how to make that cheesy, cheesy goodness crust, baby. I'm about to show y'all. Just make sure all of your noodles are covered in there. Now, here's where my other thing comes into play. I have some Mexican blend, and that is that shredded cheese that I was telling you about. And we're gonna put that all over the top of this thing, baby. It's gonna be a ooey gooey cheesy goodness. You understand me? Alright, so we're gonna take it and we're gonna put, I mean, we're gonna just put the cheese on there, baby. And you wanna get some crust. You want that cheese crust to be bubbling over and brown, baby, to let you know it's baked mac and cheese. You got to put some cheese on top of that. Now, in my case, this is a Mexican blend, so, uh, I'll tell y'all. Up in the camera. You're gonna, I mean, just just graciously put it all over. It shouldn't be a part without some shredded cheese. You understand? So you're gonna need a whole bag at least. Shoot, at least half the bag. But I almost one of them the whole bags, one of the ones that cost like about $2.50 or so. Two for something. Shoot, you dang near gonna use the whole thing messing with the Jacobs cheese, baby. Put this bad boy in the oven. It's gonna probably take about 20, 30 minutes or so to get it brown like I want it. All right, but we're gonna just put it in the oven and then I'll see you guys back in about, let's just check it in 30 minutes or so and see where it is, 20, 30 minutes. If I'm ready in 20, then I'll come back in 30 and I'll see how it is, all right? See y'all. All right, y'all, so I am back. We put this in the oven for like about 25 minutes, actually. And this is what the finished product looks like. That is baked mac and cheese with the Jacobs. I'll see y'all next time.